Hey guys, I'm Claire Aiken, the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today I wanna to talk about something really fun, and that is how to dress up your Fiddly Fig. I love to change the look of my Fiddly Figs a couple times a year, just with the season, or with my inspiration, or you know, a little bit of change in home decor. It really makes a huge impact to change the container of your plant. So first I'll talk about sort of my standard favorites, kind of the timeless classics, and then I'll talk about the new exciting planters that I'm loving for 2022 and beyond. So a couple tips, you know, before you order anything online, you're gonna really wanna measure it because planters that are sold online are notoriously smaller than they look online. So maybe they put a dwarf or a bambino fiddle in it, and so you think it's gonna be big enough for your adult plant, but typically they're a lot smaller than they look. So just make sure to read and measure so that it'll fit your plant. You wanna make sure that the diameter of the top of the pot is at least two inches larger than the container that your plant is in. So maybe you're double potting or maybe you're gonna repot. You wanna make sure you have at least an extra two inches in diameter from the current pot going to the new pot. So my favorite classic way to plant a fiddly fig is using a normal pot within a seagrass basket. I think this looks so beautiful. It really mimics nature and it looks so gorgeous in a home. I will link to my favorite really inexpensive high quality seagrass baskets. There's two different sizes. So depending on the size of your plant, you can order one of each different size and they look so good together. They look so beautiful in your home. It's a very calming, aesthetically pleasing look. The next really classic timeless look for a fiddly fig is this mid-century wood planter with a white ceramic pot. This looks so great to elevate your plant, get it a little taller, a little bit off the floor, and just have a really cool vibe in your house. And so I will link my favorite of this style of planter, but I think everybody needs at least one of this style in their home. The third type of kind of timeless classic look is these ceramic glazed pots, whether they're all one color, which I have a lot of sort of blue green colors, and they're just like beautiful to Together in a group or if they're patterned you can get some really really fun patterns and I think it's interesting to add some different patterns into your home depending on your decor style so no matter what planter you choose make sure that you elevate the planter off the floor this is really important to protect your floor but also to allow for airflow beneath your plant so you either want to put a little plant stand or a little wheel caddy so that if you have a really large fiddly fig you can actually move it around on a rolling plant stand so I will link to some of my favorite plant stands and plant caddies but that's something that a lot of people don't tell you is you don't just want to put your plant onto the floor you want to elevate it just an inch or two so you get some airflow and you protect your floors okay so if you have some of the classic timeless looks in your home maybe you're looking to add a new fiddly fig or maybe you're just looking for an update or a change here are my favorite planters for 2022 and beyond so the first that I'm seeing a lot and I'm absolutely loving are these woven plant stands so they're natural materials they're actually braided or woven so they give a really cool texture and it's just something different that I haven't seen a lot of people used before so it's very similar to the seagrass basket and you're getting the same aesthetic of something natural in your home but it's just a little bit different a little bit more modern and I think they look really really cool so this particular one is from Magnolia and it is a little pricier it's $62 but I will link some alternatives below okay the next style that I'm seeing a lot is these sort of like woven bamboo baskets where you can actually see through the basket to the interior pot but I think they look really cool whether you pick a woven pattern or sort of a up and down linear pattern there's a lot of different options here but the idea is it looks very airy and spacious and it's just a cool way that is a little bit different to display your fiddle we're still bringing the natural textures into your home but it's just giving a little bit more airflow around your interior pot and it looks really really neat so I will link some of my favorites of those below I think you can get these at cost plus world market and there's a few different online retailers that have really good designs of this type of planter so there's a few different online retailers that I like the first is world market and then I'll link to a few others that make a really cool design like this so my absolute favorite new style of planter that I'm seeing is this beautiful mango wood natural planter the first one I'll show you is from H&M and it's actually handcrafted mango wood and the entire planter is made out of wood I think it's so neat because it brings nature into our home and it sort of shows what a fiddly fig would look like in the wild right with a real wood trunk and then the greenery of the plant so I just think it's so gorgeous I love it this one is a little bit small so I'll see if I can link to some others that are larger. It's hard to find a really good large pot that won't break the bank, but I love this style. If you have a dwarf or a bambino fiddly fig, this is definitely something that you need in your home. So the last style of planter that I'm seeing a lot, and I think it's gonna become really popular in the future, is this stone look. And so you can see these at Pottery Barn, at Crate and Barrel, and there's also some on Amazon that I will link to. But this is a really kind of classic, 
cool stone looking pot. The thing about these, they can get very expensive and very heavy. And I actually ordered one and it broke during shipping. And so that was a bummer. So I had to send it back and it was a whole thing. So I actually like buying these in person. So you can see how big and heavy it is. You can see if it's gonna work for you and then you can transport it safely home. But I do think these are gonna be more and more popular in the future. So you can get them in a kind of plain stone look or you can get them in sort of a marbled stone look. Either way, I appreciate how they're bringing in natural stone and marble and naturally occurring materials in a really beautiful way. Another kind of fun thing that I'm seeing a lot is these color block pots, whether they're kind of white with black blocking or terracotta with white. You could go any direction with these. You could get a lot of different colors and they're really interesting and they're kind of like art deco. I think they're really fun. Personally, I don't like a lot of color in my home, so I would go with sort of like a terracotta black or white, but I think these are looking really cool in people's homes and they're becoming more and more popular. Now I know I covered a lot of different planters that can run a little bit on the expensive side, so I just wanted to give you guys a good DIY tip. I don't know if you know, but you can paint terracotta yourself and it's really, really easy to do. So they actually make a Rust-Oleum stone paint and so you could take a cheap terracotta pot and you can spray paint it with this stone paint. Then you could actually distress it a little bit to make it look like one of these rustic antique stone planters that are hundreds of dollars online. And so you could do this really easily yourself and then spray an acrylic glaze over it to protect your planter. Super easy to do. You're gonna end up with a really high-end look for a fraction of the cost. The other thing that's really fun is to paint some of these color block patterns. So you could either do stripes or different color blocks. So just start with a terracotta pot and pick the colors that you want, whether it's white or black or colors, and just paint them yourself and then do sort of a enamel gloss. So you can just use regular acrylic paint for these and then just go ahead and spray on an acrylic gloss. And then the third DIY pot that I've seen that's really, really cool is basically a gold pot that you can take a terracotta pot in whatever size or shape that you want and actually just paint it with acrylic gold or silver paint and then do a finish on it and it looks incredible. These rival things that cost three or $400 online and they're really probably less than $50 to create and they're gonna look really, really beautiful and you're gonna know that you created that yourself and it's just gonna have a more special place in your heart. So whether you DIY or you purchase online or in person, dress up your fiddly fig for the new year and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if it was helpful for you. I'll see you in the next one, bye.